Percy enjoys his new working life on the Kirk Ronan branch line. Taking trucks loads of fish up and down the line and delivering them to the various towns along the branch line. The line's main priority for goods traffic is fish, since the harbour is nearby, and lots of fishermen are loaded at the quay and send it to the stations. But as always, trucks can be trouble, which cause confusion and delay. So the Fat Controller decided to purchase a new brake van to be strong enough to handle trucks. He found one soon enough. As she was repaired, washed and polished, she would start her new career on the railway. You will be working on the Kirk Road line with Percy on each good stage. Trucks! Oh, how I despise those things! She murmured. So Emily coupled up to her and they set off towards Kelthorpe Road Station. Percy was waiting at the station for the new brake van. He was looking forward to meeting her. <coughs> As Emily pulled into the station, the fat controller hopped out of the van and stood next to it proudly. Percy, allow me to introduce to you to a new addition to your branch line, Queen Mary. We had purchased her from a heritage railway a few months ago and now she'll be working as your brake man. Oh, thank you, sir, Pete Percy. But Queen Mary wasn't happy. What? A little good engine? Oh, why did they have to make me into a rotten brake van? But Percy didn't hear her. And as he was coupled up to her, he pulled her towards the harbour yard. Trucks, trucks, trucks. That's all I deal with. Nothing with glam. Just the mischievous uses of the railway. Now I'm being pulled by a little big goods engine. Did you say something? Asked Percy. But Queen Mary ignored him as she kept on blithering about her dislike of trucks. Throughout the whole day, Queen Mary had been complaining non-stop about why she is in a coach. This of course annoyed Percy. You know, being a brake man is a terrible. You guard trains to keep the trucks in line. Coaches never do that. You'll soon see why. But Queen Mary ignored Percy and carried on complaining. She's been complaining so much that the trucks were then beginning to be their usual selves and bumped Percy hard and put their brakes on purpose. Why are you interested in the dirty jobs? It sickens me because I enjoy it. What reason do you have to enjoy this? If you were an engine with coaches, that would be different. Well, I could pull passenger trains but I mainly pull trucks. I enjoy it because I'm the proper authority for this lot, and you're equally as important as me, as you look out for them while I'm paying attention towards the line. I could have been a coach. Hear my name, it says Queen. Something sophisticated and grand. And trucks are not that. There's a band that my driver listens to called Queen. After all I can tell, they don't look grand. Although they sound grand, unlike you. Oh, seethed Queen Mary. Don't give me any wisecracks. But Percy chortled away. But his laughter didn't last long, as Queen Mary was still complaining. By the time Percy arrived at the harbour, he was tired and annoyed. Henry was there in the nearby siding at the harbour, ready to take a fast train to Barrow. You do look glum. It's that old bat of a break, man. All morning, she kept moaning about wanting to be part of the express. How she finds them more important than trucks. She thinks that a break man's top job is to look out for the coaches because they won't get damaged. She even thinks the coaches will stay in line because of her. 
Henry felt sorry for his friend, so he thought of an idea. He told his plan to Percy, and they told the plan to their crews. Then their crews told the foreman, and he agreed. Then Percy shot to Queen Mary at the end of Henry's train. Queen Mary saw Henry's coaches coming towards her. She was surprised but very pleased. At last, the big green engine puffed away. Oh, at last! But then she grew bored and started complaining. Now the coaches were getting annoyed. If you don't like it, then why are you behind us? I was born to be a coach. My god, back in the day, said so. He thought my name sounded perfect for an express coach. Besides, someone has to keep you in line so you wouldn't be damaged. A name has its meaning, yes. But you're not an actual coach. A brake van is to look out for trucks, and we don't need to be in line. We are on our best behavior, unless our engine causes any trouble. But you're important! We are, but trucks are equally important as well. Yes, they're troublesome. But someone has to look out for the trucks while their engine is looking out for danger on the main or branch line. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. Queen Mary had no other words to use for her defense. And she knew that the coaches were right. When she returned to the big station, she just sighed sadly. Percy was shunting some empty fish wagons that were left by Emily at the harbour while she was called away to do other work. He met up with Henry at the coal hopper. How'd it go, Henry? I think Her Majesty finally learned her lesson. That's good, replied Percy. Thanks. Look out for the trucks' behaviour for me, please, Queen Mary. <sighs> All right. She sighed sadly. The next few days were tough for Percy. Queen Mary was still sad that she couldn't be a coach, and the trucks were delaying Percy and making him late. Late again, huffed Gordon, who was pulling a slow goods train. It's Queen Mary. She's still moping and not paying attention during her normal duties. Well, don't complain to me. You better try and sort things out. This is the fourth time of you being late. Now get those trucks hitched to my train. Percy knew that Gordon was right. Now he wished that he didn't play a trick on Queen Mary. At the harbour yards, Percy asked the yard manager to let James look after his fish train. Much to the Red Engine's frustration, he did as he was told. Percy then puffed towards Queen Mary into a siding so he can have a talk to her. Uh, Queen Mary? What? I'm sorry for playing a trick on you. <laughs> she huffed. But Queen Mary groaned and said, Ugh, Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I was rude and caused you trouble. Your trick had made me realize that I am a break fan. And I was built for one purpose, and that is to look after trucks while you look out for danger. I'm not a coach. I let my own name get the better of me. From now on, I'll be good. Percy was very pleased. Later that evening, Emily was taking a passenger train towards Kirk Ronan during the evening rush hour. As she left the station, one passenger cried out, Oh no! Stop! Stop! But it was too late. The last coach pulled away from the platform, and Emily was out of sight. Oh, just great! A little later, Percy puffed past with some trucks. He saw the passengers looking very annoyed. They told him what happened, and told him that the next train was in an hour. Then they saw Queen Mary. Perhaps we could ride in that brake van of yours. Queen Mary felt delighted. Percy chuckled as they left. Even though you're not a coach, 
you can still carry passengers. That's right. But I'm still a brake van. I'd better get to work. It's been very nice seeing you. Goodbye.